absolutely crazy. I don't know who just who this girl is, but hopefully, you know, get well soon and whatnot. This is Curtis of the Shea Bird. It says, Miss R. Fabulous admitted to hospital after nitrous oxide usage. Um, this is the caption. YouTuber and rapper Miss R. Fabulous was recently admitted to hospital following alleged use of nitrous oxide. It is rumored that her appendix had burst inside her body. However, this has not been confirmed. Sorry to laugh, but this is maddening. This is what I mean about Brits, man. It doesn't matter what color, creed, race, sexual orientation. We just do the most. This is the reason why we have so many arcane, stupid, nonsensical rules in places that don't make any sense. There's all these dumb rules. You're like, why have you got a rule for that? Because some idiot took it too far. This is what always happens. They had to bring in a law to stem the amount of nitrous oxide that was being consumed by kids and sold on the streets and stuff. I remember once meeting a couple of boys that I used to go out with in the whole Hackneywick like, warehouse rave scene. Um, I was, well, it was a couple of lads I bumped into from time to time and then I didn't see him for ages. I bumped into him again. I was like, hey, how you been? I ain't seen in ages. Oh, yeah, I got locked up in there. I was, in, I was inside for a couple of months. Why? Because I was selling nitrous oxide. Imagine. That's worse than flipping getting nabbed at Tesco Express for nicking flipping Kinder Buenos or some shit. Absolute loser, isn't it? Like, absolute loser. You can do them to some level, right? Where people don't really care if you're doing them. Like, for whatever reason, you could probably, you know, take a nitrous to the face on the street and not really have anyone looking at you weird more than you could maybe take a line on the street of Ket or Coke or something. It makes no sense. But still, people just go overboard. You can buy these canisters on, on, social, on sorry, social media, on eBay. On, you know chat sites I'm as chat groups I'm assuming too easy to get hold of just enjoy it in moderation but now nah, straight to the head let me let my appendix burst and maybe nearly die for this nitrous oxide high which isn't even that great and it's and it's even worse when you see people who are like older like this girl looks like she might be under 25 so fair enough you know you're gonna do dumb things at that age but when you see older lads or older girls outside shubs and clubs or whatnot just taking a nitrous to the face and ballooning and whatnot or holding them in pictures thinking you look cool yo that is some loser behavior um she said uh, what is it? her sister wrote in a statement she's in a very bad way and can't even walk and she'll be in hospital for a week and will be undergoing surgery and up there miss our fabulous herself stated that her surgery went well oh my god this operation was a big one but god gave me thanks but god give what but big one but give god thanks who god bless no man can curse I love when people who are religious get into these self-inflicted situations and then try and use God as an escape route like to excuse their tomfoolery. It's like, nah, mate, God can, God can look down upon you and say, you're a waste of time. You took a nitrous to the face. What do you do? Jab in your earlobe and something and hold your nose closed. Like, what are you doing? It says, yeah, Miss R. Fabulous. Um, this is a comment from what? Is this from is this from YouTube or something? I don't know. It says, hey, everyone. This is a Renny youngest sister. <laughs> she wanted to let you know that she will pull through this hurdle. Renny hasn't been feeling well the last few weeks. One of the reasons for not being consistent on YouTube. There's been so much messages sent to my mother and Sandra. She's in a very bad way. She can't even walk. She'll be in the hospital for a week due to surgery. At this point, it isn't ready to share what has happened. Of course, because it's embarrassing. It is a shock to us um but we asked for your patience and support right now um i'll be dropping a well i'll be dropping my sister her phone tomorrow so she'll see your messages thank you for supporting my sister and our family how embarrassing i learn it all when i've been told so i learned it all when i told the doctors what i'd done i only found out it kills the cells and takes away your good cells i love this excuse and this is like um octavian when he jumped on um um harsh reality gnosis right and he's like oh i didn't know certain drugs was bad <laughs> like what all right mate he said okay also certain vapes aren't good cool now, now you're getting taught lessons to to somebody who got put themselves in hospital inhaling nitrous is now trying to teach us something makes sense also certain vapes aren't good i only found this out here but i would do an in-depth video and surgery went well of course if there's anything content creators can monetize it's personal flipping tragedy right you take a nitrous to the face, you shove it up your rectum, you get put yourself, put yourself in hospital, you nearly die. She might be, again, she might be the main breadwinner of her family. So you might ruin your entire family's life with, you know, your inability to earn. And then, of course, you know, in a good way to kind of save yourself, you then start telling people how they should live their lives in terms of not vaping. And then you're like, you know what, don't worry. I'll explain it all in the video. Hi, guys. Surgery went well. Didn't die. It's like, what? You are tapped 
But yeah, I don't, I don't, like I said, Brit, Brits are mad. Sometimes I think to myself, oh, why can't we be more like Berlin? Why do we not have clubs open until 4, 8 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday and all this sort of stuff? It's like, this is why. Because just, just imagine, just try and close your eyes and picture what Shoreditch would be like if we had clubs open until Monday morning at 6 a.m. Just imagine what it would be like. Oh, Mike, just imagine, just for one moment, what that would be like. It's already hell on earth from Liverpool Street all the way to flipping Dawson, right? That entire strip is probably worse now. I don't really go out there too often, but back in the day when I used to go, it was crazy. It's probably worse than it's ever been because it's so popular now. Just imagine if they had clubs open until 8 a.m. in that entire strip, what it would be like with the concentration of people, the traffic, the noise, the drinking on the street, the getting out of the club. Just imagine how crazy it would be. The guys are already freaking out with this nitrous oxide, just going to what? Going to rooftop bars. Like, you know, going to little street food things and, you know, little calm situations where the DJ, DJ playing in the background, you can have a little pulled pork sandwich and whatnot, you know, chill out, maybe smoke a couple of things and move on. Nah, let's just take this to the face to the point where my appendix burst. Like, <laughs> she must have been drinking this stuff, I swear down, or had it in like a face mask, right? Like, God almighty, absolute savage, innit? Get well soon, I guess, innit?